Just pop this out. And I think we finally have some silver right here. Large scent. Looks like it's probably going to be a braided hair. 1964. Out of Philly. All right. Another one. That's cool. cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio. We are back for a mail call. Got a bunch of goodies that came in for the Gary Sinise auction as well as the treasure chest. So we're going to go ahead and get through some of those now. The Gary Sinise auction is upon us. It's just a few weeks away. So we want to go ahead and get through some of these goodies so everybody knows what will be available in the auction. So here we go. We're going to start out randomly here with this one. This is going to be a package from Foster's Finds. We had a couple goodies in here. I kind of pre-opened some of these just to save time on uh, all the opening. So here we go on this one. Pop this open. And what do we got in here? There we go, right there. All right, we have two nice little blue packages. And there is the first one. We have an Australian round four nines fine silver right there 2022 and this one here is going to be auctioned for the gary sinise foundation right there so there is a gary sinise auction item we got a beautiful kangaroo we'll take that thank you foster's finds let's see what else we got in here here is another one and we have a nice buffalo round right there Three nines fine silver, and this one will be for the treasure chest. He says, chest me. There we go. We will get that added. I'll add all these in here at the end. So thank you very much, Foster's Finds. Appreciate the donations. Uh, love supporting the Gary Sinise Foundation a couple times a year, so looking forward to doing that as well. All right, next package up. We got one right here, and this one is from Brian Jensen. Got some goodies in there. Looks like we have a note. I see it. Let's see what this says. Hello, Rick. Enclosed belt buckles are for the Gary Sinise auction. Proof sets are for the treasure chest. Very nice. Thank you, Brian Jensen. Appreciate it. So let's take a look at these proof sets here that are on top first. So these are going to be going into the treasure chest. We have a beautiful... 2019 United States Mint Proof Set right there. Very nice. This will have the 2019 uh, National Park Quarters in it, so that is pretty cool. And there's, ooh, look at that. 1970 Proof Set right there. Also headed into the treasure chest, so very, very nice. Thank you for that, Brian Jensen. And I know he sent me an email with these. We have three of these beautiful belt buckles these were handmade by brian so right here carnelian or carnelian i'm not sure i haven't really i haven't seen that name before for an agate but carnelian i think it is carnelian agate so look at that beautiful belt buckle right there brian used to do some lapidary work so that is awesome thank you very much for that brian and here is the next one right here and this one is a Leopard skin Jasper, that is also super cool. Look at the color in that. Another beautiful piece right there. Thank you very much, Brian, for those. Great work on the stones, by the way. I love it. And one more. Another Carnelian Agate right there. That is a beauty. Look at those. Very nice, Brian. Thank you so much, Brian Jensen, for the additions to the treasure chest and the Gary Sinise auction. Thank you so much for that, as well as Foster's Finds. Big thank you to you as well. All right, next package up. This one is from Jim Thompson. So Jim, a regular on the streams, as well as Brian Jensen and Foster's Finds. All right, Hunting Southwest Ohio for the Gary Sinise auction, it says. Let's open this up and see what we got here. I Rick, hope this finds you well. Enclosed, find two rolls of vehicles to be auctioned off in the Gary Sinise auction. Doing a great job. You're doing a great thing. God bless you, Jim Thompson. Thank you very much, Jim. I love doing this auction every year. I think it is a great cause for our vets out there. So 
Huge thank you to Jim Thompson right there. We're going to have two full rolls of V-nickels right there going into the auction. So thank you very much right there. 40 V, 5 cents, two full rolls. So huge thank you to Jim Thompson for those. I appreciate it very much, sir. Very, very generous of you to do that. And that should be a great item in the auction. Thank you so much. All right, next up, we're going to do this big one. This one is from Roy Hathaway. I thought this was a fantabulous idea as well. He sent me an email, and I said that would be awesome. So we have a full box of pennies right here, but the caveat with these, every roll has a wheat scent ender. There's a wheat scent ender in all 50 rolls. So there's four there. There's one there. There is another one there. And there is another one there. So the deal with this is we're gonna auction off this entire box of pennies. I am gonna hunt them for you live on the stream. Not on a regular stream, but I'm gonna do it on a separate night. So whoever gets the box, it will be up for auction. I'll hunt it live and we'll send you all the fines. So I thought that was a great addition to the auction. Something I had never thought of, nor do I have a box with 50 enders in it. So huge thank you to Roy Hathaway. He also sent along three beautiful wheat scents. We have a 55S, Mint State 65 Red, a 57D, Mint State 64 Red, and another 50, or yeah, excuse me, 54S, 65 Red. So three beautiful wheat scents also, all for the Gary Sinise auction. So huge thank you also to Roy. I appreciate that very much. And we got three more packages to go here. As I dropped one, I got to pick it back up. So next up, we have a package here from Michael Erickson. So let's see what Michael Erickson sent us. Ooh, look at all them goodies. Look at all that stuff. We got nickels. We got wheat scents, got a 51S low mintage, 48S semi key date, 55P semi key date, 55D low mintage nickel. Ooh, a 1950D right there, beauty. Very nice 1949S. Lots of low mintage nickels right there. That is super cool. Got also a set, it looks like, of the colored ones in here. Those are super cool as well. I don't have a set of these. I want to have one just to say I have one. I think they're a little fun. So we will take those as well. Thank you, Michael Erickson. And then we have a bunch of nice looking wheat scents here. We got a 54D, 53D, 52P, 46S, 57BU, Right there, and man, look at that blinging 53D right there. Man, that is a beauty. Very nice. Let's just see what this says here real quick. Got a nice little card. A few auction items for your Gary Sinise auction. Feel free to group them, separate them, however you feel necessary. Very cool, Michael Erickson. Thank you very much for that. Very appreciative of everybody getting involved in the Gary Sinise auction. Great, great. foundation to get behind so next up i got two more to go here next up we got a package from rolf he is another regular on the live stream so let's see what he got Ooh, we have another note here hey rick these are all the w quarters i found this year and i would like to donate them to the gary sneeze foundation they look decent some are unfortunately have the ring of death maybe throw the damaged coins in the chest possibly rolf oh man that is very cool rolf all of them you found this year. How cool is that? So there they are. Look at that. W's, W's, and more W's. Thank you very much, Rolf. That is super cool. Tallgrass Prairies. We have a Mark Marsh Billings. Samoa National Park. There is a War in the Pacific. Salt River Bay. Man, we got all kinds of them in here. That is super cool, Rolf. Thank you so much for that also. That is another 
Great addition right there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 24 W quarters for the Gary Sinise auction. Very, very cool. Thank you, Rolf. Much appreciated. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who could use these for their collection. So thank you so much for that, Rolf. Very cool. Nice. All right, next up, one last package here coming up. This one is kind of a combo. I believe there's something for the Gary Sinise auction. And I think I either had a box hunt or a auction item in here. We'll see. So let's see here. This is from Walker Magnet. It says, hi, Rick. Here is a Type B plus another to auction for the Gary Sinise charity. So very cool. Thanks for your help with the auction. Thanks, Mike M. All right. So here is what he's talking about right here. We have a couple 1962 Bs. These are both Type 2 reverses. So I picked up one of these for myself. I'm going to send in to get graded. And then I have one that we are going to have in the Gary Sinise auction, which is super cool. So thank you very much for that, Walker Magnet. We will also have, what do I got in here? I don't remember if this is an auction item or what it is. Oh, it looks like a box hunt right there. I think this might actually be for the, uh, the box hunt for... Uh, Pos Bear Times, SPFA, I think it is, Suicide Prevention Foundation. So right there, we have an 81S proof. We have a Walker. We have a Silver Dime. And we have a beautiful half ounce round. So that is very nice right there, along with that 62P Type 2 Reverse, or Type B Reverse. We will take that. Very, very cool. Thank you for that Walker Magnet. So there it is. We got lots of goodies here for the Gary Sinise auction. It's going to be two or three weeks away. It probably will be the Saturday after um, Veterans Day, I believe. So I'll double check that. I will be posting the date coming up here as well as uh, hopefully get an auction list this year. So appreciate it, everybody that sent something in. Could not do this and make this auction as successful as I do without your help. So I appreciate everybody sending stuff in, and we will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.